You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about Jack Del Rio here in this video. As you guys know, Jack Del Rio asked a question that we should all be asking when it comes to January 6th versus all of the rioting and looting that happened for the greater part of the year in 2020. Lots of businesses were burned down. There is no hearings whatsoever on that. None. Now they're just pushing this whole January 6th thing. And Jack Del Rio just wants to know why are we focusing strictly on January 6th and not all of the rioting, looting and burning and killing people in 2020. That is a base base question right there. And all he was doing was just asking a question. But obviously, you know, when it comes to Walt Sports, Jack Del Rio has the wrong political beliefs. You're not allowed to question why businesses were burned down in 2020. Oh, no. And the woke Washington commanders, the Washington Redskins now have fined him. Check this out over here on ESPN, Washington commanders, DC, Jack Del Rio fined $100,000 for comments on U S Capitol invasion protests after George Floyd's murder. The simple question folks. And now the Redskins now have fined him. This is utterly ridiculous folks. Let's read some of this. The Washington commanders have fined defensive coordinator Jack Del Rio $100,000 following his comments earlier in the week, referring to the events of January 6, 2021 at the U.S. Capitol as a dust up while comparing that day to riots, looting, burning during protests in the summer of 2020. In a statement, Washington coach Ron Rivera said he met with Del Rio on Friday morning to express his disappointment in the coordinator's comments, quote, his comments do not reflect the organization's views and are extremely hurtful to our great community here in the, in the uh, uh, DMV, Rivera said. As we saw last night in the hearings, what happened on uh, the Capitol on January 6, 2021 was an act of domestic terrorism. This is coming from an NFL coach. A group of citizens attempted to overturn the results of a free and fair election where we heard that before. And as a result, lives were lost and the Capitol building was damaged. Folks, one person died as a result of January 6th. And that was actually a woman that was shot by the police. Now, Ron Rivera brings up nothing, absolutely nothing about all the rioting in 2020. The people in Walt Sports, the Walt Sports Media and your dishonest media, they say it's mostly peaceful. They don't say nothing about people losing their businesses and people losing their lives like David Dorn. This is ridiculous. Says um, here also the fine money will be donated to the U.S. Capitol Police Memorial Fund, Rivera said. No police died as a result of uh, January 6th. None. None whatsoever. On Wednesday. Oh, uh, it actually says here, uh, Del Rio also will address the team Tuesday when the commanders uh, will begin their mandatory three day minicamp. On Wednesday, Del Rio defended a reply he made on Twitter two days earlier when he tweeted, would love to understand the whole story about why the summer riots, looting, burning and the destruction of personal property is never discussed. But this is hashtag common sense. And they didn't like that. They didn't like that. They didn't like the backlash that they were going to get because it's perfectly okay to go out there and destroy people's lives. Their businesses out there in 2020 It's perfectly okay. And Ron Rivera, if he paid any attention, we all know that that, uh, one sits panel is one sided. It's a bunch of Democrats. And if you have opposition to that, you're not, you weren't allowed on there. And I'm not even counting Liz Cheney and, uh, Adam Kinsinger, the Democrats. Let's call it what it is. This is utterly ridiculous, folks. Ron Rivera allowed to, he just, he was expressing his opinion on Twitter. He wasn't actually on the commander's time, but he was asked a question um, the next day when he was uh, representing the, uh, the commanders. And he just said, let's just have a discussion. Oh no, can't have a discussion. We must find you. 
you must be silenced. You cannot go against the leftist narrative. And now they have fined Jack Del Rio. This is ridiculous, folks. Utterly ridiculous. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.